It is a nice start to the day. All the rain showers have moved on to the east. Our cold front continues to move on to the east for us. So we will see a gradual increase in sunshine today, especially as you head into our western counties. Right now, live look from our Virginia Tech Sky Cam. Still some high clouds hanging on, and we can still see those throughout the day, but plenty of sunshine can shine right through those just fine. Right now, we do have a little bit of fog in place. Right now, Blacksburg at about three miles of visibility in some locations, two and a half Martinsville, four miles Lewisburg, but most spots do okay, not too much fog for your morning drive. Right now we are 59 degrees in Blacksburg. Same thing, Hot Springs, Roanoke at 66, Lynchburg 67, 62, Martinsville and 67 in Danville. This afternoon we top out in the lower 70s in the Highlands, looking at the upper 70s to lower 80s across the New River Valley, Lynchburg, Southside, Roanoke, Lexington, low to middle 80s this afternoon with some of those high clouds in place. Now we're checking into the tropics in the Gulf. We do have some circulation going on. This could become a tropical storm over the next couple of days here. Right now, the latest track from the National Hurricane Center has this moving towards Texas and Louisiana over the next couple of days, making landfall around uh, our Wednesday. Heading into Saturday, we're going to fast forward all the way to Saturday. The latest track has this is just a low pressure system, much weaker system, but still packing a punch with some heavy rainfall heading into areas around Kentucky. Now it looks like this is going to link up with a cold front and that cold front is going to help push some of that moisture into our area as we head into the end of the week and into the weekend. So not expecting a tropical storm or anything, but we could certainly see some scattered showers some thunderstorms and some heavier rain as well with that system if it does indeed keep this track in place, but still pretty far away, so we'll have to keep a close eye on this. Today and tomorrow staying dry. Uh, tomorrow is the first official day of summer, so that's some fun news.